All right, welcome to Jonesy Cast. I'm Jonesy. This is the cast. Hey, um, welcome back. Basically, what I do is go on dating advice, relationship advice, um, and other subreddits and do video replies. Hey, um, please like and subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's cool too. Posted by user anybody hyphen wise three minutes ago in dating advice. Why don't girls seem interested in me anymore? So I've been feeling pretty bad lately. I'm 20 years old and throughout all my teens, I've had no problem attracting girls up until now. I want to be in a relationship. I just can't seem to find anyone that has any interest in me. I'm on Tinder, but whenever I match with anyone, we talk for a day and then they just stop. I'm a very busy person. I work 12 hours a day in an aluminum plant, which is all dude. So I'm not meeting anyone here. I just feel hopeless and lonely. I see myself as attractive. I always have and I have confidence, but nothing seems to work. I feel like whenever I do seem to attract someone by the next day, they're on the next and better guy. Well, check this out, man. I don't know if it gets better. <laughs> no, it does. It does. Um, here's the deal with Tinder and any dating apps like that. Okay. I don't know if anyone has ever explained this to you, but here's how essentially it works. You are sort of selling yourself. Okay. Okay and they are selling themselves. It is essentially the commodification of ourselves, which is fucking weird, bro, right? Um, we're not really meant to be on Tinder or Bumble or any of those, but here we are. You know, we're not biologically prepared for that, but here we are. So here's how it works. You get 100 girls that swipe right. Sorry, so you swipe right on 100 girls. 50 of those swipe right on you. If that, right? It doesn't matter how handsome you are. It also depends on your profile, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go 50. Then you get 25 that are willing to have a conversation with you. 12 of which have a decent conversation. Six of which leads to a date. Three of which leads to a good date. One of which leads to a relationship. All right. So out of that whole hundred, <clears throat> you get one. It's just the numbers game, man. It's just the numbers game. So in a sense, if, if someone told me that, which they did, um, actually about sales, but I just applied it to Tinder because of my experience, man. I was on Tinder and Bumble for fucking years, dude. I'm 33 now. I got, I got Tinder, I think when I was like 24, 25, um, it's been years, man. And then I finally met my, my girlfriend that I have now. I've been with her for 18 months. <clears throat> I met her on Bumble, right? But I had to kiss a lot of frogs, bro. <laughs> I had to kiss a lot of frogs, man. So here's what will happen, right? You will go on a Tinder date with someone after going through fucking 40 right swipes with no conversation and it's shit, right? And then you'll get you'll get a date and then it'll be a shit date or it'll be a good date and then you take her home and it'll be shit sex or something will happen and it'll fuck up and then you'll be like, oh, brutal, dude, brutal. But let me tell you, man, you just got to keep going, okay? Always be the best man you can be. Always try to give the woman in front of you the best man, the best part of who you are, right? Um, but you just got to keep going, son. You just got to keep going, you little Anzac. You don't know what an Anzac is? Australia, right? <laughs> you just got to keep going. So here's what I would do in the meantime. If I was in your position, I would... Um, sorry about the mic and the camera there. Um, I would, uh, I would work on myself. I would set plans in place and set goals for the future. Now, the reason I say that is not so that you can just become the best man you can be, although that will happen. It's so that you have something to do in the meantime, right? Like we, we gain a small amount of happiness from getting something, but we, we gain much more joy and meaning from chasing something. All right. So, um, what will happen is, uh, look, you are, you work at 12 hours a day, which means that you're pretty busy. I mean, you're pretty fucking busy, man. And I, I hope you're getting paid well for that. Um, especially in an aluminum plant, um, which is all dudes. Fuck that. But I used to work at an abattoir, which is a slaughterhouse, right? Very similar thing. Um, you just got to keep going. Now, that for me is when someone told me that, um, I was like, oh, 
but then I also thought, well, that that's good because it means you know the territory, right? A lot of people think that you can swipe on chicks and then, you know, you swipe 10 and you'll get one or you swipe 10 and you get five, whatever. No, it doesn't work like that. People have preferences, right? And so you have to, you have to kind of work within the system that is. Um, now, keep in mind also, here's, here's how I would encourage you. If, if they are leaving the conversation after a day and moving on to another guy, that means maybe a few things. It means, number one, you need to get better at conversation. That just takes practice and educating yourself and reading, okay? Um, and writing. Writing is very useful for being able to articulate and being able to communicate, right? Um, the second thing is that you may have to change your profile. Um, one thing that I used to do, so you're 20, I'm 33. I was a kid in the 90s. So I wrote, hey, why don't we both act like 90s kids and talk on the phone instead of texting? Because what happens is on a Tinder date, like b before you get there, it's all text and text and text and text and text and text talking immediately face to face. Fucking what? Right? What you want to do, or maybe you don't, but what I wanted to do was talk to someone on the phone to figure out what they sound like, how they feel, how do they respond, right? There's so many little nuances that you can get when you're talking to someone and you can hear their voice, right? So <clears throat> just those, just little tactics like that. Now, um, if they do move on to the next guy, which is what I was saying before, all the better for you, mate, all the better for you, because it means that what you're presenting is not what they want, which means you don't have to dance around and, and, and go through the process of um, the ups and the downs of uh, possibility and hope and then disappointment and depression, right? Or despair. I mean, and for anyone else watching this, if you're on a dating app um, and send this to your friends if you need to, if you're on a dating app, Number one, it is all about the numbers. You just have to go and go and go and go and go and, and get better and better as you go and learn from the mistakes you make and, and, and the things that women say to you and men say to you. I mean, um, and the other thing is if you do get rejected, that's okay because they don't know you well enough. People get kind of dirty at the fact that they get rejected, but I don't mind it because they didn't know me well enough in the first place to make a judgment worth my, um, worth me feeling about, right? So people get annoyed at other people's opinions. Whatever, man. Um, now, you may think that because I'm 33 and I've been in a relationship for 18 months that this is easy for me to say, but man, I did this. I did exactly this, all right? I was on four different dating apps. <laughs> it was just, it was just terrible, man. I was on Tinder, Bumble, Tantan, -tan, which is the Chinese Tinder, and Field, which is a threesome app, right? F-E-E-L-D. Um, and it was just hilarious, man. I was on four of them and I went on so many dates and kissed so many girls and a shit ton of frogs, bro. So if I was in your position, man, you, <clears throat> you may need to change your life if you are really keen on getting a date. Um, you may need to reduce hours, but I don't know if you can because it looks like you're probably in a job that requires a union, even if you have a union. Um, and the boss is probably not going to be too keen for that. But having said that, if you are very attractive and if you do have the confidence that, mate, that's the foundation. All you have to do now is keep fucking swiping. Keep putting yourself out there. Keep putting yourself out there because eventually you'll meet Mrs. Wrong. And then Mrs. Wrong. And then Mrs. Right, right? Or you could meet Mrs. Right straight away. Don't like your chances, but maybe, right? But here's what I would also do, okay? Because you are not in a relationship yet and you're 20 years old, here's what I would do. Number one, write down, and I mean write fucking down. Don't just watch this video and then not write it down and expect your life to get better. Write down what you want in a relationship. Is it love? Is it trust? Is it honesty? Is it openness? Um, do you want an open relationship? Do you want a closed relationship? What expectations do you have of this person? What do you want, right? And that will be informed also by what you don't want, which is the next thing that I want you to write down. Write down what you don't want. Um, you don't want mistrust. You don't want someone going out all the time when you can't. You don't want someone that's going to, 
you don't want a woman that's going to feed off your finances because you work hard. You don't want someone that's going to feed off your finances um, and d- that doesn't work hard herself, all right? You want someone that will either work hard or will appreciate your hard work, all right? Um, now, again, you may not want that, but that's what I would want if I was in your position. So the next thing I want you to do is write down what you want in a woman. And then the next thing I want you to do is write down what you want in yourself. Who is the man that you are prepared to give to them? What standards should they expect from you? What can they ask from you, right? So now, the reason I say to write this down is because when this shit hits the fan and you will be in a relationship, so the shit will hit the fan. In fact, the fan will just be covered in shit all the time because that's what a relationship is. It's just pushing against, it's negotiating with the other person, right? You have to negotiate all the time. So you have to get good at negotiation. You have to get good at telling the truth. You have to get good at listening to hurtful truths you have to get good at not being offended you have to get good at listening and not interrupting right and there's so many more bro there's so many more (laughs) so practice those things write what down what you want and get good at being you understand yourself love yourself um and then the right woman will walk into your life now the wrong woman will also walk into your life so you need to be discerning and you need to be discriminating in regards to that woman, okay? But when you've got her, don't let go and always be the best man you can, right? I hope this video helps, man. I don't know if it will, but I hope it does. And um, I wish you all the best.